Hello everybody, today we're shooting an informational video on a Lewis winch. It's one that I bought here a year, year and a half ago. And uh, I'm going to do a demonstration also on uh, how I use it on my trailer. I uh, made an adapter for it. Uh, a couple things on the Lewis winch I wanted to show you. We've got a uh, hook down here, a loop that uh, that's your anchor point for uh, whatever you're going to pull. And <clears throat> we've got a handbrake over here. That handbrake don't look like it's real substantial, but I can actually hold the vehicle real well with it on the trailer ramps. And I can show you that later on. But uh, what I've got on there is a steel MS660, and that's a, about a seven horse saw. That's about the biggest saw that they recommend for this winch. Um, I've used it quite a bit. Uh, works beautiful for me. Uh, only thing that I would recommend is uh, they send 150 foot of cable along with it. And what happens uh, if uh, you don't need that much cable, uh, a lot of times it'll start binding up on you. You can't get it wound up real even as you're pulling a load sometimes when you get a lot of pressure on it. Um, what I'm going to do eventually is take off 25 or 30 foot of that cable and uh, that should prevent that from happening. But I've had it rub up here a little bit and a little bit down here where it gets kind of side loaded and it gets bound up. It's hard to release. So just some advice. The other thing is the drive mechanism on it. Uh, right here it is. We've got a roll pin and it's spring loaded. And what happens is it's got a helix there and it goes on an angle. And then it's got a little notch that locks it into uh, the pulley. And that's what uh, drives your, your drum that holds the winch. And to release it, you got to push it in, bring it back like that, and that releases it so you can pull your cable out. One thing that uh, I have noticed, and that is when you have a good sized load on it, and you want to release this, it's very hard to, uh, because there's going to be pressure on it. What I usually use is a, a dead blow hammer to knock it out of that little notch there. And that helps to bring it up and out. But just something to think about when you got a heavy load on it, you're trying to loosen it up or let it loose. So, but uh, the other thing I'm going to show is the uh, mount. I made a mount on my trailer. And this mount basically bolts up to the cross member and it bolts up here at the tongue of the trailer. And I built that basically so I can pull vehicles on or whatever else I want to pull on the, on the trailer. And just recently did a couple modifications to it to make it better. But uh, I'll slip that on there and show you how that works. Okay, we, what I did is I took a piece of bushing stock here, thick wall bushing stock, and that's what my mount is, and that goes all the way through this tube. This tube down here is a quarter inch thick uh, two by two tubing, but uh, this dowel goes, this uh, bushing stock goes all the way through, and it's welded on the back side as well, so it's a good solid mount. And most of the pressure, most of the torque is gonna be applied to this two inch tube going up through the frame. The other thing is uh, I drilled a hole for a, uh, for a keeper for that when it's running so that the vibration doesn't let it fall off. So we'll go ahead and I'll pop this on there. You can see how it goes. So it's on there just like so. And you can swing it a little bit side to side to kind of adjust your lead and, and get it uh, even on the drum. But uh, won't fall off, you can let it sit there and run and it's going to stay put. Okay, the Lewis winch requires a gear lube in the gear case and what I recommend is uh, Amsoil Severe Gear 75W90. It uh, prevents thermal runaway and this is also something for you guys out there with the, with the trucks, uh, pickups and so on. Uh, it's an oil that resists thermal runaway and I'll have some further information on this at the end of the video if you're interested. And another thing that I use in the chainsaw, two cycle oil, this has been out for 40 years. It's 100 to 1 and it replaces all the other premixes. And I've got a, an article about that as well at the end of the video. But uh, if you've got a lawn boy that calls for 32 to 1 or a steel chainsaw that calls for 50 to 1, this covers all of the premixes at 100 to 1. And that article talks about the tests that have been done on it. It's been tested out to 300 to 1 and it passes with flying colors all the wear tests at 300 to 1. We've also got a version for the outboard motors because they run a little bit cooler. Uh, that's a 100 to 1 outboard, Sabre outboard for the outboard motors. And again, these products have been out for about 40 years. They're tested, they're proven, and they make the engines run so much better. So just a couple of items there that'll help you with your equipment and, and extend the life of them and cut the wear back. Okay, on the handbrake on this uh, winch, uh, some people will use a bungee strap tied back to the rear here to keep pressure on it all the time. But what I've done is I took the bolt out here and I put some Loctite on it and also on the set screw for the bolt. And I've got it to the point where wherever you move it, it stays. So I don't use the bungee cord. Some people do. You can do however you wish with that. 
but uh, what I do to pull that cable out is to release, make sure this is released over here, your drive dowel for the uh, sprocket. So that's backed out all the way. And then you let up the uh, tension on that brake, and pull it out. And it's good to keep a little bit of tension on it so that it don't freewheel on you and make a bird's nest on you. Now before you go ahead and uh, start the chainsaw up, make sure that you engage your uh, pin here that drives the winch drum. And that can also be done after you start the saw too. Get it started spinning, you can rotate this in as you go and it'll go in. And the other thing is make sure that you got your brake back where it needs to be. And we'll go ahead and pull this baby on the trailer. Then to release it, kick it in like so, and that'll release the uh, that'll release the cable. Now I've got it held by the drum, but still it can go backward a little bit. And the brake is pretty substantial on that; it'll hold a lot of weight, and uh, that kind of Gives you an overview of the Lewis winch, and uh, at least in this job, the other place I use it is for pulling logs on a trailer. If I got uh, firewood that I'm making, I can pull on the heavy pieces that I've bucked up. If you got a say a 42 inch stump or something like that, or a 42 inch uh, tree that you're cutting up, or the bigger ones like that, that the pieces weigh you know six eight hundred pounds, you can hook them on a the chain and pull them up on the trailer. It works real well. A lot of other uses for it too, but uh, this is mainly what I use it for is for pulling vehicles on a trailer and and other things that I want to pull on a trailer. So thank you for watching my video and have a great day.
Thank you for watching my YouTube video. Please check out my other videos on my YouTube page. And I want to introduce you to Amsoil's full line of synthetic lubricants. Uh, we have the most complete line of synthetics for your automotive and light truck needs, uh, as well as heavy equipment and semis. Full line of synthetics been around since 1972. And you can check those out at www.donsoil.com. Also, we have a page for looking up fluid capacities. And that one is fluidcapacity.com. And you can go in there and you can get all your fluid capacities of your vehicle. You can print off a list so that you've got all the capacities of your cooling system, your transmission, your engine, all those. And have a great day.